Hey YouTube, I just posted my second ever YouTube video. And let me tell you, I hated it. It was really bad, it felt forced, and it was kind of cringy. So I'm gonna try it again. But instead of going through what I think, I thought it'd be better to go back through some of the books that I bought over the years and see what they have to say. And so I'm gonna hop on the scroll saw. You guys can watch me do that while I talk about the 20 top things that these books, and specifically talking about the new scroll saw handbook has said about scroll saw safety and um, let's go. All right guys, here's a list of 20 or so safety rules for the scroll saw. I'm gonna go through these relatively quick. I'm not gonna read every single thing that this book has. I will leave a link to this book in the description if you're interested. Read and study the owner's manual. Dress properly. No loose clothes or jewelry. Do not pick up the scroll saw by lifting them by the upper arm. Make sure the saw is properly grounded to the floor. Be sure the blade is inserted with the teeth forward and pointing down the table. Do not use dull or bent blades. Be sure the blade is properly tensioned before operating the saw. Always release the tensioning before loosening the blade clamp. Use proper adjusted hold downs and guards as appropriate. Remove keys, wrenches, etc. before starting the power. Exercise extreme caution when sawing around materials such as dowels. Ensure that the table lock clamp is tight before starting the machine. Use extra precautions when sawing very small pieces. Never reach under the table while the machine is running. A foot switch is the recommended safety feature. Do not place fingers in the line of cut. Do not force the machine it's not cutting as fast as you think it should. A newer or larger blade should be changed out as needed. Recognize the sound and feel of a good cutting machine. Stop immediately and investigate any unusual sounds or sensations. Stop if you smell or see smoke. If a work light or magnifier are used on the parallel arm, be sure they are positioned in the event of a braid breakage so that the accessory lamp is not struck by the sudden automatic lift of the upper arm. Do not use brittle jewelries or metal piercing blades in the scroll saw. Exercise caution when sawing through thick stock. If using a C-clamp or double O parallel link saw, remember that the blade breakage can be hazardous. Slack off the tension at the end of the day when the saw will not be used for a period of time. Do not operate machines under the influence of drugs, alcohol, or me medications, or when extremely fatigued. Keep observers and visitors at a safe distance. It also talks about some health concerns, you know, keeping good posture, back, shoulder, and neck straight. When standing, bend at the hips. Watch out for carpal tunnel syndrome. Make sure that you are dealing with wood dust correctly. Do you have a fan going? Is the fan blowing in your face where all those dust particles can go up your nose? If so, move the fan where it's not facing you. Do you have a ceiling mounted air filtration system? That can also get some of that finer dust out of the air and not into your lungs. Can you hook up a shop vac to your scroll saw? These are all things that you should look out for and that can be helpful for your long-term use of the scroll saw. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I hope this video makes a better impression on you than the first one I did. Thank you all.